Welcome back, guys. This is level 17, the Gippin Ore Refinery. And, hi Spike, how you doing? Yeah. Yep, that is the Spike right there. Who finally made their debut in Vertigo, even though we were given a briefing on them a couple of videos ago. And only now they make their appearance. Hello, Guidebot. Enjoying your time in that cell? You're waiting for me to open up this door and set you free? Just so you can go stabbing me in the back with your stupid flares again? Well, guess what, Guidebot? I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm not gonna let you out just so you can stab me over and over with your stupid flares and drain my shield. I've had enough of your bullshit, Guidebot. You can stay in there and rot for all eternity for all I care. Or, at least, you can stay in there until I blow the reactor, and you can go down with the mine. So, farewell, Guidebot. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, I am not letting the Guidebot out this time, because I've had enough of this bullshit. I've reached my limit with him. Oh, well, here's the way forward, near the blue key, but there's a wall blocking the way, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get rid of that wall. So yeah, the Spike finally make their appearance here in Vertigo in this level. They are armed with an Omega Cannon, and I stated before that they also have an Energy Pulse system. Well, actually, I was wrong, again. They do not have an Energy Pulse system. And the reason why I thought they did is because, well, not only do they appear in Vertigo, but they also appear in Descent to the Lost Levels. And in the Lost Levels, many of the bots that appeared in Vertigo all got, uh, changed. As in, they got different weaponry and, uh, different names. And the Spike is one of those robots that were changed in the Lost Levels. Um, yeah, for one thing, they have an energy pulse system in, uh, the Lost Levels, and like in Vertigo, like I said it before. And not only that, but another change for the Spike in the Lost Level is that, um, they also fire, instead of having an Omega Cannon, they're also armed with a Micro Earthshaker Missile. And what I mean by that is, uh, those little homing missiles that come out of an Earthshaker Missile upon impact. Yeah, that's what the Spike's armed with in, uh, the Lost Level. There you are, Steve. I was wondering if you went this way. Anyway, yeah, that's what the spike is armed with in the Lost Levels. And, um... Truth be told, the spike's weapon in the Lost level does little damage. I mean, like, very little damage. I mean, I could just sit, and right, sit right in front of him and have him shoot at me all he wants, and I wouldn't really mind at all. Come on, thief. Go down already, you bastard. I said... Go... Down! There we go. Alright, now that the thief is out of the picture... We can now progress on. Whoop! Happy robot. How are you? Ow! Spike! Hey! Anyway... So yeah, the Spike's weapon in the Lost Level doesn't do that much damage, but then again, I was playing... All my previous playthroughs of the Lost Levels was on Rookie difficulty. I have no idea how much damage the Spike will do on Hot Shot and the Lost Levels. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see once I get around to doing a Let's Play of the Lost Levels. If I ever do. I'm sure I will. I mean, I like the Lost Levels. It's a really fun mission pack for Descent, too. It's fine, but it's also challenging. Okay, I'm, I have no idea. Oh! Where'd you go? There you are! Gotcha! Alright. So yeah, while the spike got a... pretty much a downgrade in terms of weaponry for the Lost Levels, there are a couple of robots that got a huge upgrade, like an OP upgrade. The 
biggest one being the Max. Yeah, if you thought his homing flash missiles were really bad in the lock level, along with having homing flash missiles, he's also armed with mega missiles. Yeah, like, I'm not kidding. He'll blind you with his flash missiles and then just annihil annihilate you with his uh, mega missile. I don't know what the hell Dark Flame Wolf was thinking for making the max that OP, or maybe it wasn't Dark Flame Wolf, maybe it was someone else. I know Dark Flame Wolf wasn't the only one working on the locked levels. I know it was, uh, I know other people were involved in the project. But yeah, the max in the locked level is potentially a lethal threat. Ah! Spike! No. Bad spike. Man, oh man, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. Uh, there's the red door. But I need a red key, of course. Where are you? Oh, nope. I don't know, Mega Defense Spawn. Where is that? There it is. Boom! Gotcha! Ha ha ha! Yeah, and the reason why I turned my headlight on is so I can see where the, uh, cloak medium hawk was. Alright, now I'm gonna put a smart mine right here. And another one right here. Shoot that switch, open up the wall, and boom! There we go. Now there was a bomb lane robot on this side with the octages and a seeker on that side. All taken care of. So now we can make our way to the red door. Ow. Alright, now... Okay, why the hell did you do that? I don't know why robots have a tendency to ram into me until they explode. It's pretty funny. Okay, somehow I managed to land a direct hit on a closed robot with a homing missile. Whoa! Yeah, I just fired a homing missile at him out of habit, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's use the gas cannon here. Yeah, I'm going to be sniping at the robot from the materializer from a distance because A, the reactor is right below me and I'm not going to have it shooting at me while I'm taking out the robot from the materializers. And B, Omega Defense spawns will come out of these materializers. Well, not this one. This one only spawns Beeper Bots and Seekers. And no Omega Defense spawns. However, this materializer does spawn Omega Defense spawns along with Beeper Bots and Seekers. So yeah, I'm not going to have an Omega Defense Bond shoot right out of the Materializer and into my face. Which is why I'm staying up here. So while I'm taking care of these guys, I want to go ahead and talk about uh, something I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on going back to college. Yeah, I figured it's about time I uh, go back to college. And I would like to take marine biology again, because, well, I pretty much failed the marine biology course last time. Mainly because I didn't study hard enough. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, probably taking the same exact course, which means I might go on the same exact field trip, like going to Ano Nuevo, the Fitzgerald Marine Reserve, the... Monterey Bay Aquarium. I mean, I really love going on these field trips, and uh, I would love to go on them again. I'd love to go visit all these places again. Especially the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I remember the very first time I went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I was, like, in the fourth grade. Yeah, we took a field trip there, and, uh, the minute I stepped inside the Monterey Bay Aquarium, I instantly fell in love with that place. Anyway, there's the reactor right there. 
And I just want to check if these materializers are expired. Nope, not yet. I think they both got one more round piece. So yeah, I'm looking to go back to uh, college and take marine biology again. And my dad, on the other hand, is looking to buy a new uh, HDTV after his old one broke. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but shit happens. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think this one, yep, got one more round left as well. And once I finish off these robots, I will go pick up the hostages. And not the guide bot, like I said. You can just stay in that cell and die. Oh yeah, and all the missiles are starting to disappear. Yep, there goes that missile. And that seemed to be it for the materializers. Alright, now... I'll go up here and shoot that switch to open up a wall. Right over here. And beyond that wall is where the hostages are. And it's just these three hostages right here. Yeah, this is where we picked up the red key. Alright, let's go ahead and destroy the reactor. And here we go. Off to the exit. And there are a couple of robots unleashed on the way out. Including this Omega Defense spawn. And a cloak uh, medium hulk in the exit. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's exit. And that was the Gippen Ore Refinery, and I got myself yet another extra life. So that puts me up to, what, 64, 65, I think? I'm doing pretty good here. So anyway, we are almost done with this Let's Play, just three levels left. And I'm going to go ahead and save my game in the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.